Hi, Alicia Daniel Hall, owner of Genesis Law PA, estate planning and probate law firm. I help people build and protect their net worth for future generations. This video is going to focus on estate planning for business owners. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell so that you will be notified as soon as I upload new videos about estate planning, probate, and legacy building. If you are a business owner or you're thinking about opening a business, here are a couple of things that you should consider and be mindful of as you go forward with your entrepreneurship goals. If you haven't done any estate planning yet, you should consider at a minimum having a will, also known as a last will and testament. And in the will, you can name the person that you want to inherit that business or the business shares. It can be multiple people, or it can even be a trust. It can be what we call a testamentary trust, which is a trust that is actually created by your will. If you go the trust route, you can direct that your beneficiaries, who you will name, will receive the income from your business going forward. If the business relies heavily on your day-to-day -day management, operations, and input, then your death would definitely cause a severe disruption in the business operations. So something you might want to consider if that's your situation is to actually put your interest into a living trust. If it's in a living trust, what would happen when you pass away is the trustee would immediately be able to step into your shoes and begin hitting the ground running as basically you. So you won't have that interruption. It won't have to go into court to determine who is going to be the person to take over. Another thing a business owner should consider having is a power of attorney. With the power of attorney, you are naming a person who will step into your shoes if you become incapacitated and are unable to handle your affairs. And in this situation, we're talking about those business affairs. You want to make sure that someone is able to hit the ground running, take over and handle it, manage the company until your incapacity is resolved. The good thing about having the power of attorney is that no one is going to have to go into court and ask a judge for permission to step into your shoes. That's going to cost money and it's going to result in a delay. Something that a lot of people don't think about but you most definitely want to consider having is a buy-sell agreement. With a buy-sell agreement, you are agreeing with your business partners that if you pass away, the business partners have to buy your business ownership or your interest in the business. And also, you are agreeing that your beneficiaries, your estate, has to sell those ownership shares or your ownership interest. And here's why it's great. For you, as the business owner who's passed away, you now have an agreement. So you know that your loved ones are going to be taken care of. You know that they're protected and there's not going to be any questions about whether your business owners are going to buy out that interest and compensate your loved ones. And for the business owners, they're also protected because now they don't have to worry about your son who pretty much has no actual understanding of how the business operates or what they do, stepping in and trying to make business decisions. You can indicate what your ownership interest value is in the agreement, or what probably makes more sense is to provide a formula, so instructions for how the value will be determined at a later time. And the reason why it's better to have the formula is because you can assume that the business value is going to fluctuate from time to time. And so you don't want to be locked into a number today that might make no sense in the future when you pass away. It could be too low and it could be too high. Taxes. You as a business owner should be mindful of taxes and what can happen when you pass away. When you pass away, your business interest has to be valued and a tax, estate tax is going to be due on that value. Now, depending on what the value is and also what year you pass away, so specifically we're talking about what the exemption amount is on estate taxes in the year you pass away, there may or may not be tax liability due. Another thing that can impact whether there's tax liability due is 
whether there have been gift taxes that have been made during the course of your lifetime. So these are things that we never, we hardly ever think about as business owners, but yes, your business is an asset that can be taxed on your death. Again, it depends on what the exemption is in that year, and it also depends on what that value is. So for example, right now, we're dealing with an $11.4 million exemption on estate taxes, but it goes up, it goes down, it has even disappeared in some years. And so that is just something to be mindful of as you move forward with your business ownership. Communication is very important when you are dealing with estate planning from the perspective of a business owner. You should communicate what decisions you have made and why to your loved ones because you don't want them to be surprised after you've passed away when your business partner hands them some document that says, oh, this is what the decision was, or you they see your will for the first time and it's there. Have them understand why you made the decisions you've made because it really will be easier for them to accept it later on when the time comes. And as always, remember, your estate plan is something that you should be reviewing and updating regularly. Just like life changes, your needs change, and so should your estate plan. If you are a business owner in New York, New Jersey, or Florida, and you are ready to get started with your estate planning, click on the link below to schedule your estate planning consultation. And remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell so that you'll be notified as soon as I upload new videos about estate planning, probate, and legacy building.